fishyacker.com the original kayak rigging video series hi it's john oost from fishyacker.com i was uh sitting around a few minutes ago and i was thinking again about how far uh the rigging uh related concepts for kayak fishing have come over the last several years uh specifically even within uh the time frame of doing these fish yacker videos uh, if you're not familiar with them, it's a product that I actually pro staff for with Yak Attack. This is definitely the best kayak fishing light on the market. Uh, but this is their Vizi Carbon Pro. It's a multi piece kayak fishing light and it breaks down a lot like a, uh, a tent support would. The bottom of it, you can get uh, ram, ac ram accessory mount air pieces for it. You can go with Scotties. You can simply put it into a, a rod holder. And then it breaks down into uh, the, different, the four different pieces here, including the light itself. Uh, and then folds up. And the flag that comes with it uh, also works as a bag. So the pieces break down, fit into that bag. Uh, it runs on LEDs. This thing is awesome. This thing is definitely... Uh, the, uh, the top ticket item if you're going to go out paddling or kayak fishing at night. So definitely go to yakattack.us and look these up. But I was thinking, you know, not just about how great this light is, but where they've come, where kayak fishing has come, where Yak Attack has come. come. I, I've known the guys at Yak Attack, specifically Luther, uh, since the, the early days, uh, both being in Virginia. Uh, I remember when the guy, uh, the guy first got into kayak fishing. This... I've had sitting in my basement here for quite a while. This is their original prototype for the original Yak Attack light. Similar, you can see it's a little more beefy. Uh, I originally had some foam in the bottom, but I was uh, sticking to the smaller uh, uh, rod tubes at the time, so I needed a little bit thinner. Uh, bumper piece at the bottom. Here, you basically have a, a, a leash to tie it down. And what you had here also had a flag. I have no earthly idea. Sorry, Luther. I have no idea where my flag went over the years. But even had a flag back in the day then. Uh, so right here you'll see is basically like uh, you know steel leader material with a with a snap from a snap swivel on it that would attach his flag. And then of course you're looking at the uh, uh, the, the the reflective tape on it and just a an older version of the of the tektite light that was put on it this thing was was basically leaps and bounds ahead of any other uh fishing or kayak fishing light that was on the market at the time and this was what started it all with yak attack so i thought i'd pull this out of my archives and uh show it off a little bit uh, great product back then. It is the base model Yak Attack light still are an awesome product now, but you may want something a little bit more compact these days or lighter. But this still does does an awesome job. I love it. Uh, but I just thought I'd pull it out and talk a little about how far kayak fishing has come and the way that the industry's come too. Uh, when we started doing kayak fishing, say 20 years ago or so, there wasn't a lot of product out there that was originally designed for kayak fishing. We had to improvise products. And Luther and his buddy Bob at the time uh, saw a need. And they realized there, were, there was a need for these products. And they jumped on it. And now they're doing a great job in Yak Attacks, selling products all over the world. But if you're looking for an awesome light for your kayak, no matter what step level you want for the, from their lights, but definitely look at Yak Attack uh, and go to their website, yakattack.us, and see what products they have, especially in the, uh, the light uh, area. So I want to thank everybody for watching fishyacker.com. And again, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you can, and then like us on Facebook, uh, where we're continuing to put up videos at least once a week, sometimes daily. So I want to thank everybody for watching, and we'll catch you on the water.